What was your thoughts when you saw Alpo get shot? And so, um, unlike a lot of these YouTube clowns that's talking mm -hmm. about they know Alpo and all that other stuff, Alpo was the only person that could say he got a crazy bag off of me and he wasn't one of my homies, right? Off a dice game. And he oh, asked so you play better. dice with you know he asked better. He asked better than me, right? And he got a super bag off of me. All my re up money. Oh wow. Right? And he asked better. Me. And he he won, right? And you know, I'm gonna say it for as long as I live. Anytime you mention Alpo, anything to do with toughness, putting in work, shout out to Randy Love. That's who I shout out. Because it's not really about the person, it's the muscle around the person. Mm -hmm. And we had a couple confrontations. You know, y'all want the details, y'all can read it in the book. You know what I mean? But from where I'm from, Harlem, in the Bronx, I don't care what nobody say, put my street credibility up to par. Alpo was a street messiah. He was the boss of Flossin. A lot of us wanted to be like him. He stole my haircut. Anybody that know from the time would tell him he stole my haircut. There's an argument that we used to go back and forth. A lot of people used to mistake me for him out of town. They tried to gun me down in D.C. because of him. And that's my affiliation. He's not my friend. He's not my buddy. We never hung out on um, rest in peace to Rich Porter. That was the boss that was getting the money. Alpo, I'll put it on the record, wasn't making no millions of dollars. Everybody got it mistaken. I'm telling you, he wasn't getting millions of dollars. What he did good was he taught us how to front. He was my idol and, and mentor in front. So my crew of 33, it was 33 of us. I borrowed your car today, her car the next day, his car the next day, and I drove to see different chicks everywhere. And the biggest mistake Al Capone did in leading guys like me is we ain't hustle for money. Thanks. So just, just for the image, just for All the fame. All for the image. Much. All image maintenance. I mean, we had houses, we had cars, we had money. I mean, Blocks was getting real, real money. And, um, but I never really paid attention to every dollar and cent. Like my other homies and business partners, some of them was in it for the money. It wasn't in it for the image. But Alpo was the greatest in that era from 1983 to 90, whatever. He was the greatest at flossing for people my age, my era, throughout the Harlem, Bronx, parts of Brooklyn. Because anywhere the bad bros is, that's how you end up in these other boroughs or whatever. And I know that he cannot live with himself not getting the light. So that's why he came out of witness protection? Can't be yourself. Wow. And that's why they tell you like a rat Thousands of thousand deaths because you can't be yourself. You in another prayer, you left jail, right? And then you come home, you gonna get praised by dudes because dudes really, really don't care about ratting like that. So you got praised by dudes. That validation every day, that's a drug. Is that what you think Instagram is? How many likes I got? How many comments? Do they like me? Validation. So if you know deep in your heart, the thorough, thorough dudes is dead. Thorough, thorough dudes is in prison. And then you got the suckers who's got crazy rich and setting tone for a whole generations of suckers that say stuff like, well, he got money though. You know, stuff like that. That justifies <laughs> any action, any action. You know what I mean? You could be a fruit pop getting dick in the butt and talk about you the super thug and all that, but it's okay, you get he money. money. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I can do anything, I get money. Rape your sister, oh, you get money, money though. You know, these dudes is backwards. So for him, in my opinion, couldn't, he couldn't survive being normal Damn. and hiding. So you come around and you get into an altercation over a woman and a young dude, like, I got like, no lie, maybe 14 phone calls, man. I mean, 10 minutes after it happened. Everybody, and I'm telling dudes, I tell, put my, all my credibility on the line. I tell dudes, it was, it's okay to mourn, bro. It's okay to mourn him because he had an impact on your life. When he came home, 
if you fraternized with them, if you was giving them money, if you was hanging out with them, then you're telling you're not in really conflict. You're telling the whole world that you condone what he did. But just because somebody do something you don't like don't mean you don't love them anymore. It just changes the circumstances. You just don't mess when, you, when you love a female that broke your heart, you never stop loving her. You just love her from a distance. Same thing.